Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. Uh, so we've had our first taste of the first week of Trump, and wow. <laughs> that was, uh, the, the word unadulterated comes to mind. Why am I doing this video? Uh, my initial feeling when Trump was elected was that Trump is sort of an agent of chaos. Um, and that's why a lot of people elected him. A lot of people that voted for him were saying that Trump was pretty much their political Molotov cocktail, that they just wanted to throw at government and, you know, to express their displeasure, um, but also, you know, to kind of burn down some of what they thought was, you know, horrible and rotting and, and everything. Um, and this first week, I don't think is disabusing anyone of the notion that Trump is a agent of chaos. And, you know, there's a track record of it, you know, from the, the, the campaign itself was just chaos and, and even his business dealings to some degree I and mean, all the string of bankruptcies it's like how does a guy even hold on to money i don't i don't know i don't know rich people they, they have a way i suppose my mind's starting to to chug a little bit i'm always kind of thinking out ahead of time about uh where does this look like this is going where does this look like this is going um and there's always multiple possibilities um so i'm thinking now about like where do i see this going how should i be covering my ass uh at this point you're watching this video, you're probably a prepper. Um, and and I am too. And I'm thinking, you know, it's time to, if I have unfinished projects, get them together. Uh, it seems like things can be pretty close. Um, now, this past week, uh, I, I'm not going to get into whether I, I think that the policies that he's uh, suggesting are good or bad, or uh, you know whether they're American or un-American policies. To some degree, it really doesn't matter. What I'm talking about is is the manner in which these policies, good or bad, uh, they're being implemented, and the manner is chaos. Um, they're being released sort of half-cooked. Um, Things are being changed after they, they get released. You know, the, the thing with the immigrants and the, the green cards, like it does apply to them, it doesn't apply to them. Um, it's chaos, the way that it's being released. And, and, and chaos um, is contagious. But, you know, we're all still here. <laughs> Been here for a week. We had a, a week of, of kind of chaos. We're all still breathing. You know, why do I think that things going forward would be, would be any different? Well, all, all the policies that have been uh, sort of all the edicts that have been issued on different policies over the past week, they've all been about things that kind of don't hit the core of the American populace. You know, they're about, like, you know, those, those immigrant people or, you know, um, uh, you know, climate change, you know. And that doesn't affect heavily, immediately, the majority of Americans. But Trump made a lot of promises during the campaign, some of them that he might have just thought up in the middle of a speech um, and didn't really give any thought to. Um, and it seems like he's just going down his list of what he plans on doing. Um, and this, that's kind of, that should be a good thing, uh, you know, that you know, people making good on their promises. One promise I hope he makes good on is the one about the uh, nationwide concealed carry. That was like the one good thing I thought about Trump. It's just like, that's a good idea. Because I live in New England and it's like, you, you you trip over a stone and you practically fall into a different state and it's like suddenly your handgun is illegal in that state, you know, and everything. So it's irritating. I would love for him to do that. That's not the point of this video, though. Is He's going down the list, it seems, uh, to all of his different campaign promises. And some of those campaign promises are going to directly, immediately, viciously impact a lot of Americans. Maybe they deserve, maybe they are lazy, the way they talk about. But... Again, I'm not talking about the rightness or wrongness or American or anti-American qualities of any of these policies. What I'm talking about is the way that they're being um, enacted and uh, the lack of consideration of secondary and tertiary effects of these policies. When, the, when these policies really hit average Americans, you know, the people in the cities that are, you know, what do they say, nine meals away from, from anarchy, they start losing their food benefits, their, their, you know, food stamps, EBT cards, whatever, whatever that stuff is. They start losing that stuff, right or wrong. Maybe they're just, maybe they're lazy saps and they deserve it or whatever. But whether, whether a group of people are right or wrong or lazy or not lazy, if they're hungry and there are available bricks on the ground, uh, 
you know, there's there's going to be a riot, and you, and you can't go out there and be like, well, I, I, actually, people, it was it was actually your fault um, because you know, I mean, you can try to do that, but um, it's not it's not going to be a very successful uh, this, uh, conversation. So, right or wrong, uh, a lot of chaos may be coming very close to home, maybe very soon. I have no idea what Trump's agenda is. I don't think Trump necessarily knows what Trump's agenda is in terms of when these things are going to be uh, coming out. But, you know, get ready. Because if he's going down the list and he m meant what he said and, they, and what they say is like, you know, now we need to take Trump both literally and seriously. If that's all true and this last week suggested it is, shit's about to get real. Close to home. So... You know, if you got unfinished prepping projects, pull them together. You know, uh, you know whether it happens now or not. You know, prepping is always a good, a good thing. It's always good to have food set back. It's always good to have some financial resources set back. Those are always good things. So, figure a way of of doing those sooner rather than later. Because uh, this last week, at least to me, suggests that I need to be, take seriously the idea that uh, that hour that we've all been thinking about, planning about, might be, might be a little sooner, uh, might be coming sooner than maybe any of us would have, uh, would have liked. Was Trump a mistake to put in? I don't think so. I think Trump is what the United States has had coming for a while. Uh, we've been accumulating all these problems over the years, and we were either going to solve them slowly, you know, thinking ahead, uh, uh, slow, slowly and pace, peacefully, or we were going to just get hit upside the head with them. And it was always my feeling we were eventually going to get hit upside the head with these problems. And I think uh, that's what Trump is, is for, is to have all this st stuff come home, we clear it out, and we rebuild after that, hopefully. That's the, you know, that's the deal. But um, yeah, I don't see a lot of foresight. I don't see a lot of planning, um, which means that you and I need to be doubly serious about doing our own planning and keep your eyes open keep your ears open keep skeptical keep kind keep vigilant um keep prepping <laughs> thanks for watching please subscribe and tune in every friday at 4:30 new york time for a new video